Hey everyone, come on with us to Ignacio, Colorado. We've got a little day trip ahead of us. We're taking our older boys to the Sky Ute Casino where they're going to bowl, believe it or not. And then we are going to a winery. It's called Foxfire Farms. And I'm really excited to check it out and see what all they have to offer. We've never been to Ignacio before. I think we've driven through, but we've never actually stopped and spent any time in the town. So let's check it out. Ignacio is a small town with a population of about 857 in La Plata County, Colorado. It's about 30 minutes from Durango and about 50 minutes from Pagosa Springs. And if you're coming from the east, um, from Pagosa, I recommend taking Highway 151 instead of 160 because Highway 160 can get pretty backed up during the busy season with... Um, RVs and just all the different tourist traffic and highway 151 is a lot more scenic a lot less crowded and it actually takes you by Navajo State Park where the huge lake is so I think it's a little bit better of a route um, Ignacio actually means fiery one apparently and it, it felt like that today it was pretty warm Ignacio is also the headquarters of the Southern U Indian Reservation After passing through the little town of Ignacio, you come to the cultural center, which is a really neat looking building. And I plan on going back to visit that um, on our next trip to Ignacio. And then you come to the casino. The casino looks brand new. Apparently it was built in 2000 or it was built in 93 and then it was redone in 2008, but it looks like it was finished a month ago. It is so clean, so crisp and well-maintained. It looks brand new. It's amazing. All right, the boys are dropped off. They are gonna have so much fun bowling. It's a really nice bowling alley. I'm impressed. And we walked through the casino by accident and it was nice in there. It didn't have a smoky feel or anything like that. So if you're somebody who likes to hit up the slots, I say go for it at the Sky Ute Casino. Um, now we're off to the winery. It's called Fox Fire Winery. And it's actually really close to here. So it shouldn't take us too long to get over there. Um, I'm excited to see how they grow their grapes. Our GPS took us straight there 
There are not a tremendous amount of signs though. So keep an eye out. Um, there's little A-frame signs that say winery, but not a big billboard or anything flashy that's going to grab your attention. Although, I mean, our GPS got us right there, so it should get you there too. And it winds you up a really nice windy road and then it spits you out on top of the mesa where the views are incredible. We finally made it to the winery. The entrance was clearly marked and it was really well marked in the parking lot also where we were supposed to go. And as we pulled in, I instantly noticed the gardens. They are huge perennial flower beds that are just swarming with pollinators. It was so pretty. And we were greeted and we went on into the tasting room. Emily helped us pick our wines based on our personal tastes, and we also ordered the meat and cheese platter. And I walked around the tasting room, and I had no idea that their wines had won so many awards. This place is legit. They had some really cute little crafts in there for sale, and the room was air-conditioned. It was very cool, and the views from the windows showed the flower beds and the vista beyond. It was a really nice place to spend some time tasting wine. The meat and cheese platter came out in a to-go box and that was actually really nice because we did wind up taking some of it with us, but also there were dried cherries, nuts, cheese, hard like salami, and then olives, also a spinach artichoke dip. And I really enjoyed having this selection of food to taste the wine with because I like to know how the wine is going to pair with food. And so you can see which flavors are enhanced with the wine. And that made it even more enjoyable. Sam got a Zuber Fizz root beer and he loved the meat and cheese board as well. So everyone was really having a good time. We tasted four different wines, the dry rosé, 
Aramella, Marquette, and the Caro Noir. They were all grown in their vineyards at the winery. And um, they were all very, very good. High quality, very mature, well-made wines. After our tasting, we walked out to the vineyard to see the grapes growing. And on the way, we passed by, I think it was cornhole and different yard, yard games, I guess you call them. So I think you could bring the family, you could bring your kids and they could play. They could get a root beer while you taste wine and you could really have a nice, enjoyable afternoon. The grapes look absolutely beautiful. And I think in the fall, when they turn, they'll be stunning I overheard that a baby shower was being hosted here, and that is brilliant. A wedding, a wedding shower, or even a bachelorette party at the live music on Fridays would be so much fun. Or even if you needed pictures taken, I'm thinking senior pictures, wedding pictures, engagement, I don't know. This place would have so many potential backdrops that you would it would just turn out beautiful. Look how beautiful this lavender is. I was just enamored with it. It's totally swarming with bees. Oh, I can't wait for my lavender to look like this. All right, we are done at the winery, which was such a fun experience. And now we are headed back to the casino to go get the bigs from bowling. Hopefully they had a good time. We haven't heard from them yet. They were going to play two games, and I was honestly too embarrassed to ask, how long does it take to bowl two games? <laughs> so hopefully it takes as long as it takes for us to have left and to get back <laughs> for them to bowl two games.
are headed home from the casino. We got the boys and they're tired. And that's nice, it's a quiet car ride home. All right, we're back at home. We decided to go ahead and get three different bottles of wine. Well, two types of wine, three bottles. We got the Aramella is the white wine. And I generally don't like white wine, but you guys, this is so good. It's not overly sweet. It's not just, it doesn't just taste like alcohol. It has a wonderful crisp flavor. Highly recommend. And then we got a Caro Noir, which I had never even heard of Caro Noir. We're not exactly wine experts, <laughs> but it's amazing. So I can't wait to enjoy these. And I highly recommend going to Foxfire Farms. They have live music on Fridays. So we're going to go back and we're going to spend some more time there because in Southwestern Colorado, this winery is probably the best. I highly recommend. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.